Item number SCP 2200 JP. Object class safe. Security level 1. Special containment procedures. SCP 2200 JP is to be stored in a low level threat object containment unit. Only staff who fully identify as male can be assigned to SCP 2200 JP. If SCP 2200 JP discharges, staff in charge must clean the containment. Containment Unit SCP-2200-JP's seminal fluid is treated and disposed of as non-anonymous waste. Description SCP-2200-JP is a teddy bear manufactured by Deep Company. SCP-2200-JP has a human beep bounded to its crotch. The base of the beep is fused to SCP-2200-JP's con. The beep is constantly erect, and blood within the corpus bunchulosum does not leak out unless the beep is damaged. Upon visual recognition of SCP-2200-JP, any individual who identifies as female loses the ability to recognize SCP-2200-JP's beep. Others mentioning the beep or explaining SCP-2200-JP's anomalous nature does not undo this effect. Furthermore, affected individuals would not accept any explanation as true and will deny it. This effect can be removed if affected individuals indirectly recognize the beep, after which they can understand the anomalous nature. SCP-2200-JP discharges seminal fluid approximately once a month. The timing of discharge is in sync with the menstrual cycle of SCP-2200-JP's former owner, Miss Beep. Individuals under the effect of SCP-2200-JP cannot recognize the presence of the seminal fluid. At the time of discovery, a homeless male was in possession of SCP-2200-JP. He testified that he found it in a nearby dumpster and took it with him because he found it humorous. The original owner was located based on his testimony. The following is the testimony of Mr. Beep, the father of the object's former owner, Miss Beep. Once I got home from work, my daughter came to me smiling and said, Daddy, Mommy brought me a new teddy. I ask her, what does he look like? And she scurried off to her room. It made me happy, you know. Nothing makes you more happy than seeing your kid happy. Anyway, she comes back with the beer in her hand, and, well, the moment I saw that thing, I almost denied reality. But it was there, on that beer's crotch, that cursed thing. I took the bill from her immediately and went to my wife to ask what on earth was she thinking. But she didn't seem to get what I was talking about. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have avoided addressing it directly and... Nah, it's impossible she didn't get it. It was so... There. My wife told me that some jokes aren't okay, but... Like, to me, that bears the joke. That's not okay. Anyway, I kept trying to explain. I mean, is that the kind of thing that needs explaining? It's just there. It! I ended up convincing myself that I was seeing things from fatigue. Both my wife and my daughter said it's not there. And why would it be? Of course, it was still there the next morning. Up and ready to go. Oh, apparently it had a name, Takashi, according to my wife. It's the name of my daughter's crush at school. <sighs> I don't give a crap. I don't want to learn about my daughter's growth like this. God damn it. After that, I just carried on with my life, avoiding it as much as I could. My daughter loved it and would bring it to dinner, so that was fun. No matter what I said, I knew i just say I'm the crazy one. Oh, but I did beg them to never let it leave the house no matter what. 
I managed to convince my daughter that taking it out would get it dirty. I couldn't let my daughter embarrass herself with such a thing. On the offset chance, I wasn't hallucinating. Well, maybe embarrass is an understatement. But yeah, she never let him go while at home. It was tough. Imagine that thing rubbing against her. But at the time, I had convinced myself it wasn't real. I mean, how could it be? The final straw was, ah uh, yes, sorry, it was so disturbing, I just hadn't tried to forget about it. So, one day I woke up to my daughter screaming in her room. I rushed to see what happened, and she's crying, saying it's smelly. Indeed, there was a weird smell in her room. I had a bad feeling, and looked at her bed, and found a lump under the blanket. I took it off the blanket, and there it was. That freaking beer! What the frick does it think he's doing to my little... Blah! Oh, freaking kill Takashi! You motherfucker! Mr. Beep significantly raised his voice, after which he went silent for five seconds. Sorry, I... I had a flashback. It still pisses me off. Oh yeah, you want me to continue? We threw it out, of course. Mattress and everything. Daddy will buy you an even nicer beer, so forget about Takashi. I didn't let either of them say anything. That was not a hallucination. Way to ruin such an important day for my daughter, damn it. We are currently investigating how and where Miss Beep purchased SCP-2200JP along with any distribution channels of the object.